Hey everybody, this is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to update a user profile. Here we are on the dashboard. All you have to do is go over to users, hover over users and click on all users. Or if you're updating your own profile, click on the your profile link. But you can update because you're the, admit, the admin, if you are the admin of your site, you can update anyone's user profile. So once you're in the user list, all you have to do is hover over the one you want and click on edit. And then we have all of the default options. In fact, it, you'll see in a second, there's a couple extra options that plugins have added as functionality or the theme itself. But here are all the options you can change and manipulate in a user profile. The visual editor is whether they will be able to code in HTML or use the visual editor when they create pages and posts. You can change the color scheme as you can see, it's updating live as I click it. So you can pick the one that's most appropriate. You can also enable keyboard shortcuts. We have a great article. There's a link to it in below in the description to the top 10 WordPress keyboard shortcuts that you can check out. When viewing the website, there is by default a toolbar that looks a lot like this one at the very top, this black bar. You can turn that on or off using this checkbox. You can update their names. The information you enter in the first name and last name field will be combined to create potential options for the public name. So if, if they post an article, in most themes it says written by so-and-so. So if you don't like what's being displayed for what their written by name is, you can go in here and change the name. I'm going to change it to Bob Smith just as an example, but the display name publicly as dropdown updates immediately and you can pick something that you like. Maybe you don't like Bob, maybe you want to use Robert. Now it has Robert in here. So you're able to change what their display name is on the website if you want. By default, we have the email field and the website field. The social media profile URLs have been added in by a plugin and they show in the, the author section. So if you have an author box below your article, potentially these will show up depending on which plugin you're using and which theme you're using. Or these could show up on the dedicated author page if you have those. By default, there's a little bit of a bio box, a small bio box that you can fill in and you can change passwords. And then this is also information for another plugin, this WordPress SEO settings. You can fill in information for the author page to help with SEO for that page. And really that's all the options, even that's all the default options plus a couple others added in from plugins and the theme. And there's, there's a whole pile of plugins that you can use to enhance the user profiles and a quick Google search and you'll find lots of plugins for WordPress user profiles. And that's about it for this video. I hope it helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. I'll talk to you soon.